Number three, history. All right, so we have put aside our preconceived notions and we've set aside those commentaries. Now, where do we go? Well, there are outside resources that are going to be helpful to your study of scripture and chief among them are history works. I encourage you to become a student of history even as you're becoming a student of the Bible because the things we read in the Bible were written in a certain place at a certain time in history by people who were experiencing the world in a certain way. And in order to fully grasp what they're saying and how they said it, why they said it, we really need to put ourselves back in their circumstances, at least as much as we can. So gaining an appreciation for the history of the world, the history of Israel, the history of the nations that came against Israel, the history of the times of Jesus, and so on, those things will become immensely important to you in appreciating what's happening on the pages of the text of Scripture and why. So if you're not already a student of history, you need to make that one of your goals as well.